What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for your SmackDown Live review for November 8, 2016. First off, I'm very sorry this did not go out on November 8th. I was kind of wrapped up in the election. As we know, the election was last night. And congratulations goes out to Donald J. Trump for being elected the 45th President of the United States. Now, on to SmackDown. SmackDown was a pretty good show. You know, they continue to show that they're better than Monday Night Raw. Hands down. Hands down. They have more wrestling. They don't have as many commercials, etc. And the two hours makes it so much easier to watch. However, there is one thing I don't exactly agree with when it comes to the Survivor Series. And that is Shane McMahon being the fifth member of their Survivor Series team. I think they're missing a huge opportunity in building up a star because, you know, Baron Corbin, I understand if they want to yank him off the match. You know, he fell off the ring apron last night on SmackDown. And if he actually got hurt, okay, I understand yanking him out of the match. They could have very easily replaced Somebody else in Baron Corbin's spot that's actually on the SmackDown roster. Instead, they stick Shane McMahon in that spot. I don't exactly agree with that, okay? Because they're just sticking Shane in there to get a pop, maybe to get a few more subscriptions, and that's it, okay? It doesn't really do anything for the SmackDown brand for the SmackDown roster in the long run. It doesn't do anything. Now, does it get a big pop? Yes. Does it get people excited? Yes. In the long run, does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Other than that, I have no complaints with this show. Absolutely nothing. Take Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss, for example. Their women's championship matchup. How that match ended will lead to another women's championship matchup. Alexa Bliss did tap out, but her foot was on the bottom rope. That will lead to another championship matchup. That was a tremendous matchup. I actually absolutely love that contest. That I can't wait to see develop and continue. Baron Corbin versus Kalisto, a no contest. Look, if Baron Corbin is actually hurt, I think Kalisto took advantage of that situation and got some revenge on that situation. And, you know, it would have looked really bad if Kalisto would have just played the baby face type and walked off, you know, instead he played it up if Baron Corbin is actually hurt, um, and this leads the feud to continue if they want to go down that path, so I like how they did this, Natalia versus Naomi, you know, I like that they're giving, you know, the women some more attention here, but does this do anything? No. <laughs> I mean, Natalia <laughs> is a waste of space. She's a good wrestler, but they're doing nothing with her, so it means nothing. Naomi, okay, we all knew she was going to win this, so it's like, whatever. Breezango versus the Vaudevillians. Rizongo should have won this matchup. They did win this matchup. Good. As far as Vaude Billions is concerned, they have a good character. Unfortunately, however, people in this day and age don't understand their character because it's too old school, and that doesn't fit with the mold that the WWE is in today. 
Apollo Crews versus Kurt Hawkins. Number one. Okay. Number one. I've given up on Apollo Crews. I've just given up on him. Okay. Completely. Because WWE continues to bury him each and every time he's on TV. So I've given up on him. As far as Kurt Hawkins is concerned, he picked up the victory. However, however, he didn't even get to come down the aisle. He didn't even get to come down the aisle this time. So his victory means less to me. If we didn't even get to see his entrance, then it's like, whatever, so what? Get to see Apollo Crews, but Apollo Crews lost. I mean, you know, it's kind of like whatever. At the beginning, you know, all the teams came out. No, the, the team uh, came out. AJ Styles is playing the hill really good, saying he didn't need the crowd. Uh, his attention, he didn't need the crowd's booze, he didn't need the crowd's cheers, he didn't need all the tweets and Facebooks and that kind of stuff. So, the rest of the team came out. Uh, Ambrose was getting into it with uh, AJ Styles, and Ellsworth came out. Styles went absolutely ape crap all over Ambrose. Because of Ellsworth saying that uh, Ellsworth needed to stay out of the ring come Survivor Series. Shane McMahon came out and named Ellsworth <laughs> the mascot. This is going to be funny to see at Survivor Series. You know, this thing with Ellsworth needs to just end. But it puts a smile on my face every once in a while. So, it, you know, I'm okay with it. You know, um... <laughs> As far as the rest of this segment is concerned, it just led up to the main event tonight, which was the Wyatt family versus Ambrose, Kane, and Ellsworth. Originally, it was supposed to be Baron Corbin, but Baron Corbin said he didn't need to do any favors for the SmackDown team. So, Shane McMahon yanked him out of the match. And stuck Kane in. And, uh, the rest is history. The Wyatt family picked up the victory in the main event. We all knew this was going to happen. Simple as that. Now, to end this review, the only thing I'm going to say is, I hope WWE does not screw up next week. I hope they don't. Because they have a stacked show next week. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg expected to be on Raw next Monday. They better not screw that up. They screwed up some of their... Raws leading up to this show, Survivor Series. So they better not screw that up. This whole trying to get Brock Lesnar over as a stinking hill and the crowd just chanting Goldberg, they better not screw that up. <laughs> as far as SmackDown next week, they got the cutting edge and the return of the dead man, the phenom, the undertaker. For the 900th episode of SmackDown, which is rumored to lead to a rivalry for the Dead Man, maybe for the Royal Rumble. So I'm interested to see where that leads. So that is SmackDown tonight. Once again, I'm sorry that it's a day late, but I am bringing the review to you. If you like this view, uh, review hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe until I see you again catch you on the other side